Hey guys, um, a little bit different. This is just a quick little utility tutorial. Um, nothing too practical like a jailbreak or anything, but useful nonetheless. This is how to get wget for your terminal. So wget is just a command in terminal. It's just a command line interface and while it's not really too useful for the average Joe, it's actually pretty helpful if you are familiar with Linux, if you're in a programming class, if you are trying to um, you know, there are various things to do. I just set up a separate Siri server from the one I posted earlier and I had to wget some files and it's really easy to use but the Mac doesn't come with it. So this is just a quick little tutorial on how to do that. So first you're going to want to go to this web link that I'm at right now and I'll put that in the description so you don't have to worry about paying too much attention and just download the newest wget. And so it's pretty small. Um, there it is and just move it to your desktop and then from there it's pretty easy all you do is you go into where I was oh whoops it's in developer you want to go to terminal okay and this is actually full screen I don't want it to be full screen ah sorry it's still set up from my previous endeavor whatever that may have been alright so you're in terminal now you're just gonna wanna navigate to your desktop folder so this is how you do it, it's a pretty simple command cd tilde slash and that brings you to your home folder and then from there you just go to desktop and see how it says you're on your desktop and then from there unzip the gz tarball and you can just name this see it's got all this stuff in here whatever so you can just name this wget for easy easy access so then you're gonna cd into that cd desktop slash wget and then you're in the wget folder and then from here you just do dot slash configure and that runs a configure prompt and so it's gonna run for a little bit as you can see here and there's speed, da, 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 da. It's basically just uh, pre-checking requirements and such um, nothing too important you don't even need to do and there's no user input here, it's basically all on the file right now. So if I fast forward this, it's going really slow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm showing you this because you're going to encounter an error. Is a trick. So, and I'm going to show you how to get past this. See how it says configure error with SSL was given, but new utilities is not available. That is a problem and you're not going to be able to install it, didn't install it, didn't do anything. So, all you have to do is type this command while you're doing it. Dot slash configure Wow, I'm really failing at typing. Space, double, or, uh, double hyphen, I guess, with dash SSL equals open SSL. And now, it's going to run it, and it should complete correctly. So, I'll fast forward this again because it is not useful at all. Sure. Alright, so now, now it's good. Now all you have to do, you're just going to want to type make, whoops, I think you have to do this sudo too. sudo make install. It's going to ask you for your password, and then boom. It's going to install wget once again more um, gibberish but and lastly as soon as this is done there we go so that now it's done that was a lot quicker because it doesn't have to make anything we can check that it works by just w getting something so I'll just w get hmm, let me decide here I'm just gonna w get the same um, package that I j we just downloaded manually to make sure it works. So see here, wget http colon slash slash ftp new dot org blah 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 and if you see here it's gonna put it into the same folder that you're currently in which is wget. So you know hit enter, there it goes, gives you progress complete. So if I open the wget folder 
There it is. So you know wget works. Um, not useful for anything on its own, but it's very helpful if you need it for something else. And it's a pain to configure on the 64-bit Mac because SSL, oh, it's just the whole thing. So that little error, that's how you get past it. Anyway, that's it. Um, tell me how it works for you. Tell me if you have problems. Peace.